going to focus on one of the bowlers for Australia who's got a lot of variations and he bowls at key times for Australia. Now in the first game he bowled in that key area when Pakistan slowed down, they couldn't get on top of the bowling, which was over his, uh, 25 to 40, but he also bowled at the death as well. So they couldn't get on top of him then as well. So he's such a key bowler in those scenarios because he's tricky to play against. Now here he is, it's Nathan Ellis, and there's a couple of things I'm going to have a look at. One is the pace on, the off cutter as well, and the slow ball. So we're going to focus on the grips that he does use, and one by one we're just going to go have a look and go through it. So this is just normal pace on delivery. He doesn't have any extreme pace, but you can see that uh, that's pretty tidy. It's, there's nothing unusual about that. That's fine. Let's move along to the off cutter. And you'll see that there's a little bit different for the batsman to see with that one. So you can see that he's going to be running the fingers down the side of the ball there. So that's something you can see. And this is the slow ball from the back of the hand. It looks to some like a seamer as he sets up as well. So that's why he's a little bit different with those variations. Okay, the other thing I want to have a look at now is his pace. Let's have a look at his speed maps as we go along and see that uh, he's got over 30 k's per hour and below 130 k's per hour. They're the red ones, that's over 130 k's per hour. So that's his normal pace on, deliver pace on deliveries. There's a couple of uh, um, cutters involved in there as well from time to time. These are the below 130 k's per hour. Couple of things to point out, good groupings there. These are the slower bounces, of course. And he does, when you put the other ones back again, he does have a couple of deliveries that are nice and full as well. So there's the work from him with the pace deliveries that he bowls. Now, let's have a look at his trades as well, and this will give an indication about his pace. That's a off cutter, the yellow stream, that's the pace on the red stream, this is the variation he's got. That is the off cutter again, that is the pace on delivery. Now we're gonna see some of those slower balls. That's a normal pace slow ball back of the hand. That is the bouncer back of the hand as well. And that's why he is a handful when you're playing against him because he has so much variation and when the track's a little bit on the slow side and he can use it, he is so effective. So he's going to be key again, I'm sure, for Australia. And somehow Pakistan are going to work out how to play against him. And if they watch those releases, that might give a bit of a clue.